the Serene Disciple Project at Eager Isle Farm. Did you like the new intro? This is the this is the first week with the, the really finished intro. Thank you to Terry Edwards for putting that together for me. Well, we are back in the shop for... Oh, that's good. We are back in the shop for week two of bookbinding. This is where we ended up last week. You can see that we have the spine finished. Uh, this is called the headband. I kind of rushed through it last time. My footband is flagging a little bit. We'll stick that back on. And we have a ribbon in it. And so, uh, all done. Now we need to form the case or the cover. So that's our goal today. Do you want to come along and take a look? All right, come on. pick out, since this is going to be a leather-bound uh, journal, what leather to use. And so welcome to the Leather Vault. And we have a variety of leathers that we can choose from. This is a nice, shiny, finished brown. Uh, under here, we could do red or whatever color that is, suede. We've got a, a softer brown, but I think it's a little too thick. Um, Got a few scraps of black under here. That's interesting. We've got a, I don't know what color that is, a softer deer hide brown. That would make a nice soft journal, nice to the touch. Uh, or we have a nice textured uh, pig skin. I think I want to go for the pig skin. All right, back to the table. All right, that needs to dry for a little while. Um, so I've been thinking about the intersection of creative endeavor and radical hospitality. And this is probably a good example of that. I mean, this is probably book number 35 or 40, somewhere in there. Uh, but the reality is, uh, you know, you can only use so many leather-bound journals. <laughs> I make more than I can use. I turn pens on the lathe over there. But there's, so many, there's only so many pens that uh, one person can, <laughs> can use. And so what I find joy in is making uh, these things now to give away. In fact, one of my requirements uh, in order to make a new leather journal, I've got to give one away. Or in order to make another pen, I've got to give one away to keep the number that I, I have kind of static. And so in this way, as I am creating this journal, especially if I know who it's for, because I do, um, I do a, a fair number of uh, Christmas presents and birthday presents and, and guest books uh, for weddings, uh, different events. And so if I know who this book is for, I think about them as I am making it. And I pray for them. I, I think about them writing in the pages and what they'll be writing in the pages of this journal. Or if it's for an event, I imagine all of the people who will be signing this guest book at the event. And then that thing, that guest book goes on the shelf with the wedding photos or the shower, uh, the shower stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, the parents, or the, or the newlyweds can look at this for years to come and see the people that signed in and see the, the craftsmanship of the book or read the journal uh, years from now, years and years from now, read that journal and hold it in their hands. And so in a way, I'm participating in their life years down the road, maybe even after I'm gone. My great-great-grandchildren may handle this journal that I'm making today. Who knows? And so that is, 
that is a, a form of creative endeavor that is also radical hospitality, that my creative endeavor can, can bless people into the future. That's pretty neat. have it. A leather-bound journal. <laughs> Looks like a Bible. I think that there is a kind of reckless abandon in creative endeavor. I think there has to be. The willingness to try something and fail when you've tried, and to try again, and to fail again, and to try again, and to fail again, but each time gaining a little ground, learning a little more about how um, a book is bound, for example. Now, I realize I have just scratched the surface when it comes to book binding and being completely self-taught, YouTube taught. I imagine a professional book binder watching this video just rolling their eyes and shaking their heads. It's all right. I had fun. And I created something that makes me happy and maybe will make somebody else happy. And at the same time, my soul has benefited from the exercise of creative effort. I've experienced the focus of creative work and also the freeing of the mind that happens when my hands and my eyes are focused on a physical task. So it's a book. It's also a form of meditation. Maybe it's a prayer. So what do you want to make? Go for it. I mean, how hard could it be? <laughs> we'll see you next time.